welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the only channel that uploads a new episode every 15 seconds. Hello and welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that just realized the whole 15 second new episode thing probably isn't going to work. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Shira Lazar. Our top story this week, Zach Galifianakis brought some culture to YouTube, sitting down for a stimulating discussion with novelist John Ray. I've actually did one novel in a, uh, in a, a spelling out the words in bowtie pasta. You know, like, the, or, macro, or uh, elbow noodles. An entire novel? Mm-hmm. No. Never got published. So I, was, I boiled it. This, of course, marks the first time since 2006 that anyone has discussed a book on YouTube without mentioning teenage vampires. Fans will recognize Galifianakis from The Hangover, as well as every other movie that opened in 2009, including that one about the computer-generated guinea pig spies. Mechanical and being able to uh, communicate. <clears throat> With animals. Auto-tune the news returns with a look at the Democrats' new plan to put Americans back to work. Democrats told us today what they really want to do is focus on jobs, jobs, jobs. Don't forget about jobs. We're focused on jobs, jobs, jobs. We're on the unemployment They put health care on the back burner, the back don't believe the Democrats can create jobs? Well, since Barack Obama took power, Glenn Beck has hired three new personal assistants. Though this video has so far been popular with the YouTube community, I don't think it has the 60 votes it needs to get featured. Miley Cyrus' latest track, When I Look at You, appears on the soundtrack of the upcoming film, The Last Song. Sweet The video showcases Cyrus's remarkable talent on her favorite instrument, the fake piano. When asked in an interview about the film's plot, Cyrus reveals that she has never seen that or any other movie. Gabe and Max have submitted this next video for the Academy's consideration. Thanks for agreeing to come and see me in our lab, Dr. Gabe. No problem, Lieutenant Max. This has been building for a long time, and we only have 12 hours to save it. It's a shame that cancer doesn't work in our timetable. Cancer is an inglorious bastard! Unfortunately, the Oscars don't yet have a category for internet video, but I think we all know what's going to win the first year they do. Finally this week, Chat Roulette continues to mesmerize the internet with its unique blend of cats, penises, stone guys, cat costumes, more penises, and B-level celebrities. John Leach used the system to test if people could tell the difference between an eyeball and a vagina. This, of course, means the record for most vagina sightings in chat roulette history remains locked at zero. Zero vaginas. But trolling for vagina isn't the only use for chat roulette. Far from it. The kids at Comedy.com use it just to blow off a little steam. Yo, dick, don't even function. My dick served a whole luncheon. I have to say, that is probably... The best Vin Diesel costume I've ever seen. Oh, come on, I've seen better. Well, that does it for this week in YouTube. If you liked what you saw, please rate our videos and subscribe. For Lon Harris, I'm Cheryl Lazar, watching YouTube so you don't have to. Do you make videos? Do you have a pilot? Well, now your pilot can be a winner. Enter the Banff International Pilots Competition by March 15th in any of the three categories. Up to five minutes long, more than 20 minutes long, and any length in between. Register directly at Banff2010.com and at the link below. Go right there. there. You can win a chance to be developed into a commercial program by top professionals from Absolutely Independent and to be aired around the world. Sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. Apply today.